channel so today I have a really exciting video for you guys and I am so so super excited to actually record this finally I've got all my stuff and honestly I ordered this stuff like two weeks ago maybe yeah two weeks ago not even two weeks ago and I have everything and as you can probably tell from the title it's a wish haul but I literally have absolutely everything that I ordered I am so gobsmacked. I could not believe it. I got the last thing through like a couple of days ago and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, everything is here. I can actually record my video. And I got ridiculously excited. So as you can probably tell from the title, I am doing a 20s wish haul and outfit try on for you guys because we're back in the 20s. It's so exciting. We're back in the roaring 20s. So what better thing to do than a 20s outfit haul? So if you're brand new here and you have never seen my face before, hi, I'm Leah. Welcome to the channel. Do feel free to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. But I am so, so excited to get into this video. So if you are planning any parties or you're going to any at all that are like fancy dress this year, definitely go as a 20s character because we are in the 20s, so why not go a little bit gatsyified? So that's enough of me talking about the 20s. So let's see me get a little bit more gatsyified by getting into the video. So this is my box of stuff. Really excited to get into it. As usual, I'm going to put the links down below for you and I'll let you know how much everything costs. So if you did like it, you can jump onto Wish and go and buy it. So let's get this one, because this is a big one. And I, oh, I dropped a small one. I will open this in a moment, but let's get, I think I know what this is because I have not done one outfit for you guys. No, 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 no. That would be very cheap of me. I've in fact done two outfits for you guys that represent what we feel is the 1920s. So I have done a day outfit and I've done an evening outfit. So. I'm going to be showing you both of them because I didn't think it was right just to do one. So, this is supposed to be a hat. <laughs> oh my god, it is so squished. Oh, that poor hat. Okay, so you would have thought as a seller on Wish that even though you are selling cheap things, you put something in it to make sure it doesn't get squished in transit. Oh, this poor hat. Such a shame. Anyway, that is the hat that I actually got. So I think, I don't even know how it's supposed to go. <laughs> it's so flat. Okay, let me tell you how much it was and we can see if we can put it into a proper shape, proper hat shape. Okay, wow, this looks so pretty on here. I'm so disappointed in that because it looks nothing like the picture. <laughs> Um, it's a women's retro ladies bow knot derby bowler. It was £3.80, shipping £4. I got it in tan. They did do other colours, but I figured for a 1920s day outfit, you wanted to go with something that's a bit tan. So, on the picture, oh, that's come out as well, so that's going to be pokey and horrible. I'm actually really disappointed with this, but that is supposed to sit down like that. And it's supposed to sit on your head like this, I assume. What do we think? Um, it's popping off my head a little bit. I just actually want to have a look in the mirror. Hang on. Oh, okay. Okay, that's not actually so bad. It's not as bad as I thought it'd be. So this is the hat. And this is going to go with the day outfit that I've got. So let me just pop this to one side and we'll get into the bag and see what else we've got. Okay, so delving in. Ta-da! I'll use my little packet that I actually dropped on the floor. So. Oh, this is for the day outfit too. So these are gloves. These are just like little lacy gloves. So, let me. Where's the thing? Aha, 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 aha. Oh, these are cute. Okay, so they are literally just like gloves, like little lacy gloves. So let me just tell you how much they were. These gloves were actually free. They do them in one, two, three, four, four different colours. They are ladies' lace wedding gloves, bride, bridesmaid. I got them in white and it was three pound shipping. So not too bad, eh? Not too bad. So I'm just going to pop one on and see what it actually looks like and see, oh, there is some elastic there as well. So if you've got larger hands, 
should fit you. So um, bearing in mind, I do have quite small hands. Guys, I have very small hands. Um, the fingers are actually a little bit long, like bloop, 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 and they don't squish down. So that's a little bit annoying, but they are really, really sweet. They're really cute. It's a shame of how big they've actually been sewed, but I think we kind of get the gist with them. So that is another piece of my day outfit. So let's just pop that over there and we'll have a look and see what else we've got. So, ah, I don't know what it is. I have no idea. Aha, I do now. <laughs> I feel like I sounded evil then. Hmm. Ooh, sparkles. Anyone that has seen my videos, whenever something's got sparkles on, I'm like, <gasps> sparkles. I like sparkly things. Any girl likes sparkly things. If you say that it's girls don't like sparkly things, you're weird. Every single girl likes sparkly stuff. So, this. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Wow, okay, did not expect this to be as pretty as it is, okay. So this is like a bolero or a shawl, and oh my god, that is absolutely beautiful. So that is literally just to go over the top of something, so like, doo -doo, like this. Ta -da! So this, as you can probably tell, isn't actually for my day outfit, this is for my evening outfit. So let me tell you how much it was. Oh my god, this is so gorgeous. Okay, so it's a women's 1920s shawl beaded sequin deco, it was 6 dollars and it was a five pound shipping. I got it in gold. So they did actually do quite a lot of different ones. And for the price that was paid for it, I will say I'm, I'm actually quite impressed. So it wasn't that expensive. I was expecting something nice, but I wasn't expecting it this nice. So I'm actually really, really happy about that. And it's the sort of thing that you, could wear you know like if you go out in the evening for like a meal or something you can just throw this on sort of over you know like if you're wearing an off the shoulder top or something like that but yes so this is for my evening dress yeah i'm really excited about that so i'm just going to put that in a different pile so i know what's what even though it's kind of obvious and uh we'll see what else we've got Ta -da! Ew! Ew. I know what's in here, because there's lots of stuff, <laughs> okie dokie, right, so before I get everything out, I'm going to actually tell you what it is, because there's a few things in here, and I was so surprised with this, it is a 1920s accessory flapper set pack for women, it was £7, shipping was £5, and I got five different things in this pack, so you can get a few different things, you can get ones with just one thing, three things, five things, so I got all five things in here that I will need for my evening wear. So, let's get into this because I'm really excited to see what's in it. So, the first thing that I'm getting out is, looks like, looks like gloves so there's two black gloves in there and to be honest they look like they'll be quite nice um do i let's uh a bit stretchy on there it's this one let's um give it a try Ugh. Eey. oh my finger's stuck <laughs> there we go so that's the gloves obviously it'll go like further up the arm as you would if you were in the 20s and going out dancing um but yeah they're not honestly they've not been sewn brilliantly but the end of the day they are but gloves <gasps> no already got a hole in already got a hole in so i'm not happy about that but for costume wear okay fair enough i could probably just sew up that little hole myself so they are the gloves so i'll pop that over there all right the next thing in here oh oh these are for i right earrings these are actually for pierced ears so that's actually surprising i didn't think that they would be for pierced ears so if you don't have pierced ears and you want to get this accessory set just beware that these earrings are actually for pierced ears oh the backs have come off the ear things oh no oh 
they've got two different sorts of backs on so you can either leave those ones on that are on there or there's like those little ones i don't know if you can see them in here i'll just there so you've got those so you can actually change them depending on what's more comfortable i suppose but these are the earrings there we go i actually really really like them i think they're beautiful and if i'm honest i'm going to be wearing them quite a lot i think you know like when i go out anywhere they are absolutely stunning so yes i'm not going to throw them over there with everything else i'm actually going to gently put them down on the side and we'll pop them on in a bit so the next thing that's in here oh this is my headdress ah, i'm so excited about this guys this is just like super excited right so this is the flapper headdress um so it's got the false feathers there it has oh that's really pretty it's actually a blue gem in that but that is cute and then this is like velvet with sparkly bits in it so that will go on your head oh yeah see if it fits because i do have a small head something like that Ta -da! <laughs> okay so that actually fits my head really nicely it's not too tight it's not loose really really nice so this is actually what it looks like on and i think it's really pretty so i actually need this this so that i can actually do my hair because as you guys probably know if you have a look at any 1920s pictures images or costumes everybody's got really short hair so like the bob was in style and i need to create a bob out of it which I, i'm gonna try and do i won't say that i'm gonna be good at it but i am gonna try but it involves using this strap here youtube you are going to be my friend today so i will pop that down with the earrings because i don't want to damage the feathers and what have we got next this so this i don't actually think this would actually work so don't buy it expecting it to work this will be a cigarette holder so how have they made this then? That's a straw. Oh, I'm dropping everything. Uh, ee, uh, oh, okay. So this is a straw, essentially. Um, let's, so I guess that goes in one end. So I take it, that goes in that end. That goes in that end. There we go. So does anybody know what this is? No, it's not a magic wand. It is a cigarette holder. So ladies back in the 1920s, here we go. There's a little bit of trivia for you guys. This was a very elegant way of smoking. So women didn't put cigarettes to their face um, because it would make them smell and it would discolor their whatever else. So they would have cigarette holders so that they could look extremely elegant while smoking. So that's sort of like a roundabout fact. Um, if you want the actual fact, you're gonna have to research it. But that is what I know from what I've read many 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 years ago so yes it was to look more elegant and to stop staining and smelling like cigarettes so i'll just pop that down and we'll get the very last one out of this bag oh. so we have if i can get into it a false pearl necklace Ta -da! so we just wrap it around like that you could do pretty much however you wanted. You could wrap it around like that, or you could... How do we do the little knotty thing? Cha! Knot it like that. I don't quite know what I'm going to do with it, but we'll see. I'll probably do it two different ways. One for the day outfit and then for the evening outfit. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I feel like doing. So I do have two more items. So let's have a look at this one first. And it's white, so I know what it is. I'm so excited to try all this stuff on. Oh, wow. So before we get it out, let me tell you what it is and how much it was. So this is a fashion women's vintage 1920s sleeveless flapper dress. It cost £9. I got it in white in an extra large and it was £5 shipping. So they did quite a few different colours in this. But for me, I feel like quite muted colours during the day was what women normally wore in the 20s i may be absolutely wrong but that's kind of how i feel it would have been i don't think they would have wore quite sort of crazy colors i think it was more sort of like whites creams tans um maybe browns but i'm no historian i'm definitely not a fashion historian so i don't really know that but this oh 
Oh wow. Okay, this is the dress. Um, so it has got a bit of a soapy smell to it. It's weird. It's like it's you know been left in washing up liquid. Odd. It is sleeveless. It's got a round neck and. As you expect from the 1920s, they didn't have figure hugging stuff really, so it is just a long, loose dress that that's going to be quite pretty on. Oh, I mean, as you can probably tell, it's um. Oh, hang on, that's the back. What am I doing? I'm sh am I showing you the back or am I showing you the front? Oh, okay. So the back has actually got the the layers on it. Oh, I'm silly. And then the front, if you look at the front of it, it's actually gathered in the middle here and the layers actually stop sort of midway in the dress. You'll be able to see it more when I've got it on, but that's really cute. I really like that and I think, I hope, that it's going to go really, really well with the hat and the gloves that I've got. So let's just pop that over there with them and we can get on to the very last one. Yes, it is the very last one and it's really heavy, so ugh, I know exactly what it is. And this is like the, the thing that I've been waiting to open. When I got it, I was like, oh God, that's so heavy. And I was like, I know exactly what it is. So, <laughs> really excited. I need to get into it now. Oh my God. Urgh. Let me in. Let me in. Urgh. Okay. Right, so I did actually try and get this in plain. I didn't want any other sequins or anything with it because I did actually get the black and gold like shawl. So before I get into this and show you, I will just tell you what it is because I'm really excited about this one. So this is, and do you know what? I actually spent ages trying to find it because there were so many that were like sleeveless and I just thought, well, I've already got a sleeveless one. I want something with a bit of sleeve because I think they were more inclined to wear sleeves because of how sort of drop wasted everything was back then. So it is a new 1920s Gatsby dress, hand embroidered. It was £14 and shipping was £8. I got it in black in an extra large. So a bit pricey, but I'm hoping it's going to be worth it and it feels like it is going to be worth it. This is the dress. This is, <laughs> this is the dress. <gasps> What's that? What have I dropped? Oh, it had silica gel in it, so you know that it's a good one. Well, we're hoping that it is anyway. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't quite know which the back is and which the front is. I'm guessing that they're probably the same. It is fully embroidered. Oh my Lord. That is so gorgeous. So it's got a V-neck and it's got these embroidered sleeves here. It's got beading all throughout the dress. Oh wow. And then the bottom of the dress, it has like these flapper-esque. Oh my God, that is so gorgeous. That is so, so gorgeous. Wow. And it is actually two different layers. So you've got the, the layer with all of the beading on it and the bits of embroidery on it. And then you've got the layer underneath it, just here, which is just like an inside silky kind of layer, which I'm guessing might be quite static. I don't know what to say about this. I'm just, this is beautiful. This is absolutely gorgeous. I, I am blown away by this and I hope it looks as nice on as I hope it's going to look, but I will say the quality of it, I'm really, really impressed. So let's get everything tried on. We'll go with the day wear first and then we will get the night wear on so you can actually see all of it. This is the 1920s day outfit and to be honest, I actually really, really like this. I mean, excuse my hair, I'm not very good at doing my hair and putting it up, so excuse the hair. I mean, I've kept my makeup very, very neutral as well because obviously it's a day look and I've just teamed it with an old sort of straightener bag because I haven't got any bags that would be deemed 20s style. But I really like the gloves, they are really nice apart from they're just too long sort of on the fingers here as we saw. So they are a little bit too long for me. Um, the hat, I actually really really like the hat, I think it goes really really well especially with a shorter kind of hairstyle as well, it's really nice. And I love the dress. So this is actually from the accessory pack and do ignore my black shoes because I have got my black shoes on. But the dress is really, really nice. I like how, if we have a look at the back, it's got the sort of layers or the tears or however you want to say it, 
on the back and then they actually stop at the front and you've got this gathered bit here so even though it is a dropped waist it doesn't take away from like your shape if you know what I mean so the side panels here are quite flattering as well so I actually thought this would make me look like an absolute giant rectangle and it really doesn't and I think everything goes really really well together I think it looks really lovely so if you are looking for a day look for the 1920s this is absolutely beautiful I will say underneath I am wearing a full body kind of slip type huggy inny thing and it is beige because you would be able to see through it so you could probably see like the pattern on my bra here because it doesn't quite cover that but it is worth getting something to put underneath it otherwise you're going to see everything the 20s was all about drop waist looking sort of like slim and boxy so they didn't really have anything fitted I mean, I'm no fashion historian at all, so don't come at me with any comments, but that's how I understand it anyway. So this is absolutely perfect. It does the job, and I think it looks kind of authentic as well. So yeah, I think this is, uh, I'm going to ignore the tattoos as well, because ladies didn't have tattoos in the 20s. But for a 20s day wear, I think this is brilliant. So this is the 1920s Great Gatsby look and I absolutely adore this look. It took me so long to do my hair and my makeup, oh my god. But I've done it and I think it looks absolutely brilliant. So this is the shawl which I absolutely adore, it's so so cute, absolutely love it. So it'd be great if you had something that didn't have sleeves in. But seeing as this has got sleeves in, you don't really need it. So I'm going to get rid of that, put that over there and... I am ready for a, uh, a great Gatsby party. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. I think this dress is so gorgeous. It feels really high quality. It is just, it is absolutely stunning. And all of the accessories are really nice. The gloves aren't really sewn together very well. That's the only thing that I will say. But at the end of the day, they are just props. The gloves do actually go sort of like all the way up over your elbow as well. So that's quite cool. Um, this, I'm guessing, if you really wanted to, you could actually put a cigarette in the end of that and smoke it because the hole literally goes all the way through the entire thing. So that's a little bit crazy, but it would probably melt the plastic. So I advise you don't do that. If you actually are a smoker and you want one of these, you could probably find them in antique stores and things like that, um, especially if you want it to go with a costume. So I'm not saying that smoking is a good thing. I'm just saying if you are a smoker and you want one of these, go and find it from some sort of antique store. But here we go, here's the necklace again, and I actually really like it with this knot in. I don't think it quite fits with the theme if it's not got the knot in it. So I absolutely love the dress. It is fitted, but it's not fitted. So it's got that 20 style that you expect that's kind of boxy, but then again, it actually gives you quite a nice figure because it's not too boxy, if you know what I mean. It is slightly more fitted than the day dress, which is kind of what I expected for something that's 20s but it does feel like super duper quality. I love how the bottom swishes when you do a little dance, it's amazing. Obviously I've got my black shoes on again and they go really, really well actually, really, really well. I'm just, I'm absolutely blown away with everything and I can't believe all of this came from Wish. So the earrings, even though they're heavy, they don't feel very heavy. You get two different sorts of backs in there as well so you can change the backs up a little bit. And my hair, literally, I put this band on and I just looped it all the way around. I don't know if you can tell that I've done that. There's a couple of pins in there holding it together. But yeah, so obviously my makeup I've gone a little bit darker because it's evening wear. But overall, I think this is really, really cute. If you're going to any parties this year, any fancy dress parties, any costume parties, even if you're looking for stuff for Halloween, it's the 20s again, so what better way to do it than go Great Gatsby style? So that is everything for my haul and try on today. I hope you really, really enjoyed it. Do you know what? I really enjoyed it. So even if you guys didn't enjoy it, I enjoyed it at least. And I would just like to say trying things on and off and on and off and on and off and opening the bags. I've taken my nail varnish off and I only did this like two days ago, so <laughs> comes with the territory I suppose. But yes, I absolutely loved it doing this haul, it was absolutely amazing. I actually really, really like the outfits, that black dress, oh my god, that was absolutely gorgeous, I just cannot believe it. But yes, if you did want to see anything specifically down below or any other hauls where I'm actually doing an outfit, 
do feel free to get in touch, leave a comment down below. Get in touch with me on my Twitter, my Instagram, my Facebook, and I will definitely have a look for you and see what I can do and if it's something. But yes, I really, really did enjoy this. I think it was an absolutely brilliant idea. You know, welcome back to the 20s, everybody. But yes, if you did like the video as much as I did, do feel free to give it a great big thumbs up. Show it some love, I would really appreciate it. And if you've not already, do feel free to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. Well, that's it from me, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!